Hey, my YouTube friends and family, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now more than ever, Jamaicans are thinking about going with a slab roof, a concrete slab roof, which we call decking in Jamaica. So this video is to shed some light on that. Um, this video is to give you some tips, some pointers, some things to consider before going with a concrete slab roof. So stick around, guys. Um, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. Watch till the end. Um, let me know if this is a viable option for you. So let's get into the video, guys. First thing I want to touch on is weight. Can your existing building hold up to the weight of a concrete slab? So as you know, a concrete slab weighs much, much, much more than um, a timber frame roof. So the first thing you want to do is have an engineer come out and inspect your building. So have them inspect for any cracks, have them inspect if there is any um, stiffeners in the building, um, any stiffeners at the corners, or um, at any intervals in the building, you definitely want to ensure that they are stiffeners. And um, if there's no stiffeners, then you're going to have to cut out the corners and you're going to have to cut out the walls and um, dig all the way down to foundation level and install stiffeners that it will be able to support the weight of the concrete slab. So definitely the first thing I would recommend is having an engineer like I said come out and do his or her inspection of your existing building this more so if it's a complex building or if it's a larger home uh, if it's a small home then you might be able to um, get away with it if it's a two bedroom pretty much you can be able to get away with that where um, your knowledgeable builder can come out and do his own inspections like I said if there's no stiffeners and um, if there's no beams, then um, these will have to be put in place to withstand the weight of a concrete slab roof. So the next thing I want to touch on is choice of materials. I'm from St. Elizabeth, Southern St. Elizabeth, where we are accustomed to using marl instead of sand. I know sand is more expensive, almost two times more expensive than marl, but over time, it gives you a stronger building. Um, the, the disadvantage of using marl is it reduces the strength in the building. Also, it is more porous. It allows water to come in more, thus causing more leaks. Also, it absorbs water as well. Um, so over time, it will cause more cracks. And the um, next thing also to it causes corrosion. I don't know if you've ever seen where um, the concrete slabs inside, um, you will see chunks, big chunks fall on the, on the floor. This is from the steel expanding uh, after reacting with the marl and causing expansion and um, the concrete will burst and chunks will fall off onto the floor. So definitely use sand instead of marl moving forward. And this is from a St. Elizabeth people. I know we are accustomed to using marl, but it is not a good material to use for concrete slabs. So spend a little extra money and go with sand. So as it relates to materials, another thing that you will need is plywood, plyboard. So the choice is renting the ply or buying your own ply. For me, I would definitely recommend buying the ply if you're able to do so. Um, buying the ply, at least at the end of the decking, it is yours. So you can um, choose to keep them for something else. Um, you can sell them back. Um, it is yours at the end of the day. Also, um, when it comes on to hurricanes, um, you can actually, actually use it to um, button up your windows and your doors. So it is something good to have if you have storage. Um, I would say definitely buy your own ply, ply board, um, save them on site. Um, use them for future use and also if you want to sell them back or actually rent them back in the future you have that choice so um, for me personally I would definitely buy rather than rent um, the only thing I probably would rent is the jacks I know that hurricane just passed and um, not much trees are on so definitely you're gonna have to rent the jacks to hold up the decking until it's dried so that's the only thing I personally would rent but I would definitely buy my own sheet of plies. The 
next thing I want to touch on is heat. Um, there's no going around it. You always hear Jamaicans say, boy, the deck house them hot. Um, heat to kill them in the deck house and things. So that's one thing to consider when going with a concrete slab roof. It's, it's hot, um, it absorbs heat, and it lets out the heat in the night. So you're definitely going to feel more hotter in a concrete slab roof than a timber frame roof. So um, that's one consideration. But there are remedies to this. Um, one thing I would recommend is getting um, higher ceilings at least a nine foot ceiling nothing below nine foot is acceptable in my opinion so you definitely want to go 10 foot and above um, i would not pro i would probably not go too high because you want to stick with proportion as well you don't want a two um a ceiling that's too high and then the house is out of proportion so a good a good rule of thumb is um 10 feet so a 10 foot ceiling is pretty good in my opinion so um, at least air is better able to circulate um, you will have a cooler space and um, a cooler home so going with a higher ceiling uh, will be able will have you feeling more comfortable and um, you're better able to withstand the heat in a concrete slab house so something else to consider when getting a concrete slab roof is leaking there's a high possibility that it might leak if it's not done properly because concrete on its own is not waterproof. So when you're doing your casting, you want to ensure that there's a vibrating machine there. What this does, it releases trapped air, trapped air bubbles in the concrete, which over time will dry and it will cause um, holes in the concrete. And um, through these holes, water will come into your building, into your home. So you want to have a vibrating machine there to release the trapped air bubbles. Also, the next thing that um, when the concrete sets, what you want to have is um, you want to ensure that you wet the, the concrete often. So you want to wet it at least three times a day for seven days. What this does, it prevents the concrete from drying out too fast. You want to ensure that you wet it in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the late evening. This prevents the concrete from drying out too fast and creating cracks. Because th through these cracks, water will enter your home and you will have leaks. And once it's leaking, you're going to have a big problem. So you want to um, ensure that you have a vibrating machine. When, it, when the concrete is set, you want to ensure that um, you're wetting it often. So three times a day for seven days. And, um, on the, and um, on the second week, you can wet it one time a day until you reach up to two weeks. So after two weeks, you don't have to do anything else. So the next thing to consider after the concrete has dried is a waterproof membrane. So this can be in the form of um, tar. Um, some people use tar on their roofs to prevent water from coming, from seeking in, from leaking in. Um, your concrete roof. Also, there are paints there. Uh, there are paints out there that you can also use to um, to create a waterproof membrane and also reflect heat. So that's a, that's a also a way of reducing heat coming into the building. So um, that's something to consider as well. To sum it all up, you're going to have to have a engineer come out to do his or her inspection if it's a larger complex home if it's a simple building um, a good builder a good knowledgeable knowledgeable builder should be able to come out and do his own his inspection um, to see that um, the home has um, adequate support to support um, a concrete slab roof also you want to think about um, roof height ceiling height sorry um, so that you'll be comfortable inside your home um, heat naga kill in there um, the roof is high enough so that air can circulate also you want to think about choice of materials you don't want to go with marl um, you want to go with sand instead also you want to think about um, waterproof membrane to keep water outside of your home to keep out water and um, have a safe and comfortable home so let me know what your thoughts are guys um is this something that you would go with? Um, would you consider going with a concrete slab roof? 
if you're building or would you go with um, timber frame roof so it's something to consider um, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section um, if you found this video um, useful please give me a like hit that thumbs up button if you have not yet subscri subscribed to the channel please hit subscribe so stay tuned and um, check out my next video thank you